What is going on Steelers Nation? Welcome back to another video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for getting us over to 500 subs. It means a lot, but let's get down to business. Let's talk about the free agent signings that the Pittsburgh Steelers have made so far this offseason. Uh, do you think the team is better? We'll grade that, all the above. But let's get right into it. Talk about Patrick Peterson, a uh, corner that was signed uh, for the Steelers this season, a uh, two-year contract, which is good. It's not too much money. It's a lot cheaper than Cam Sutton. Um... And he also played very well last year. Still had the five interceptions. Um, I think, obviously, you know, the youth part of the Cam Sutton leaving part um, is definitely going to hurt us a little bit. But uh, Patrick Peterson still shows that he could play. Uh, again, it's a team-friendly deal in my eyes. Uh, again, I know he is older, but I think he still has what it takes. Uh, I like the signing, so let's start that off. I think it's a good signing. I'll give it a B-plus for that. Um, uh, Nate Herbig, I like the signing at guard. Uh, I think Kevin Dotson has definitely seen his way out of Pittsburgh. Uh, not so much out of Pittsburgh, but more of the rotation kind of guy, um, you know, goal line kind of guy. Um, but I, I think Herbig is definitely a better asset, um, better run blocker, and we'll see what happens with that. But I, I like the fact that Omar Khan is addressing the biggest needs. Obviously, the offensive line was horrible. Our running game was awful. Pass protection was awful. Um, and he, and he's targeting that. I mean, we saw that he went after Orlando Brown. I think, um, you know, that was a, that was a very good move by him to, to, to do that. Obviously Orlando Brown sided with the, uh, Cincinnati Bengals took the more guaranteed money, which a lot of these guys are doing now in the NFL. So I, I don't blame him there, but the fact that Omar Khan saw that they needed a tackle, uh, and he went to try to address that. Unfortunately, we didn't get him, but, um, you know, I, I like the fact that he's trying with that. Uh, staying with the offensive line, signing Eagles uh, guard Isaac Siamalu. Uh, I think it's, again, another good signing. Uh, he played, I think, 99% of the snaps last season that he could have with the Eagles. So as long as he stays healthy, he's a very good guard. Um, and I've heard nothing but good things about him from Eagles fans. Uh, so, again, I'm a, I'm a little confused after signing Herbig that we signed Siamalu. Just because of James Daniels. I know we only have him, I'm pretty sure, for one more season. Um, so I wonder if, you know, they're looking at him as a cut or we're just going to have these big bodies and just keep rolling with him. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, uh, what that situation is going to be. Um, but I do like the fact that they are, they're trying to beef up that offensive line and realizing that it's a, it's a major need for us. Um, other signings, let's go right to the linebacker position. Every single linebacker that we had starting last year is no longer on our team. Miles Jack was cut. Devin Bush was signed by the Seahawks and Robert Spillane. I forget what team he signed with, but oh, the Raiders. Um, Robert Spillane is gone too. So uh, they bring in a Landon Roberts as well as Cole Holcomb. Uh, I think these are two pretty good solid pickups. They're both ball hawks. I think they both, you know, they like to hit people. Um, um, Roberts is a two-time Super Bowl champion with the New England Patriots too. So he knows what it takes to win. Um, I do like the pickups though. Uh, I think linebacker position was very weak for us last season. I don't think that they're done there. We'll see what happens during the draft. Um, to me, I think their main focus for the draft in the first round with pick 17 is either going to be left tackle or it's going to be the linebacker position. So we'll we'll see what happens with that. But I do like these two signings. Um, we also bring back Larry O on the defense as well as DeMonte uh, Kazi, uh, safety. So I, I do like those signings as well. Uh, as we see, uh, as of today... Uh, making this video, uh, Terrell Edmonds is uh, parting ways with Pittsburgh. He's, I guess he's he's going to go explore free agency and decide to not stay with Pittsburgh, even if they were to offer him a contract. So good luck to him. Uh, I was actually looking forward to bringing back um, Edmonds just because he likes to, Minka Fitzpatrick likes to work with him. Um, so I think it's a, it's an asset when two guys know how to work with each other. And I think and I think Terrell Edmonds played very good last year after having a pretty de uh, disappointing season the year prior. So kudos to him. Good luck on the next contract. But um, one more signing that the Steelers didn't make was bringing back James Pierre as well. Um, again, solid. It, it's just a rotation guy at this point. But he did play pretty good last year. He had that interception against the Colts, which pretty much sealed the deal. Um, but overall, I think the Pittsburgh Steelers have done very well this offseason addressing the needs um of this team uh if i had to give the steelers a grade i'd probably give them a b plus right now um but i do think that the pittsburgh steelers team is better right now with the current roster than they were last season 
Um, if you disagree, agree, whatever, comment down below. Do you think this team is better uh, now or were they better last season? Uh, and what grade do you give the Steelers so far in free agency? So we're only about a week and a half in um, in a free agency, so there's still more, more to come. Still got the draft uh, and all of July, June, July, August, May, whatever. Uh, until football season rolls back around. So thank you so much for uh, hitting that follow button, watching the video all the way through, and here we go, Steelers.